This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. So we're going to take out the keys to lubricate the little pins underneath them and clean those pins and lubricate them so the keys can move a little bit easier. To do that, we took off these little nuts on this piece that's holding the keys down and then the next thing getting that out of the way is to remove the screws that are here and here all the way down we're just removing this last one they're just standard head screws and then we're going to be able to remove this part of the action and then we should have good access to the keys in the upper part of the action now bringing up these two two panels together Lift that up, then we're going to set it down. Bring up this part. Get the upper action up and out of there. Lift that up. Have good access to the keys we can lift them off one by one just come right up a little bit of wiggling and what we want to do today is clean up these pins and lubricate them and also we're going to be working on these felt pieces too so now I'm taking out these felt pieces and also the uh, paper spacers underneath these are pretty dirty and I'm just going to line them up the same way they came out and then I'll do the same for the uppers and then I'm going to clean all these posts really well and lubricate them I'm going to vacuum all this out too so we lifted all the keys off and then we took off the um, felt piece with the plastic spacers underneath and we put them in the same order that they came off the pins and just cleaned up the board a little bit. I'm going to vacuum that better and then I'm going to use um, some of this, the Flitz metal polish to get these polish really shiny and I'll use some of this lubricant to lubricate the pins and then for the felt pieces that the pins go into we put a little bit of this lubricant in the felt and then we put in these pieces called stays you can get these at howardindustries.com and then we'll just let that set overnight and then we do it on the other side too so we put a little bit of the lubricant on the felt and uh, when it dries what's going to happen is it'll lubricate the felt but also kind of push it back giving a little more room and with more room the keys are able to move better so if your keys are getting a little sticky that could be what's going on and we're just going to set these down in the same order because uh, you have a stay on the on the back and the front so you have to, you have to lay them on their side we we'll go to the next key use the same procedure Put a little lubrication on the felt and we'll put a stay in there. The stay, you have to get the right size, but it's basically going to fit in there correctly. Uh, they come in, I think, four different uh, sizes and it pushes the felt back a little bit while the lubricant um, dries. And that's all it takes. And then we're going to, after we polish these up, we're going to reassemble it all. We're going to use a little bit of this Flitz metal polish to get rid of some of the oxidation and uh, some of the corrosion. Get it really shiny, and then we'll lubricate it, put it all back together. So I'm just going to put a little bit of 
splits on there. We'll get that on all the pins. And we're just going to rub it in. Just a little bit. You can also use a uh, pipe cleaner. Works pretty good if you bend the pipe cleaner. Because you're going to be able to get around the um, pins a little faster. And if you can get all the uh, corrosion off, then after lubricating it, the keys will just move a little bit better. should give you a better feel. Uh, sometimes pianos, as they get older, because these surfaces lose their lubrication and also get a little bit corroded, they get kind of sticky. And uh, the piano won't have quite the same feel. So, this is a good thing to do maybe about other, every five years to really keep the action working well. So we're just going to add this on and then we're going to polish up those pins. Polishing them up now. Pretty shiny. These are the ones that still have the flits on them. These, these have been polished and all you got to do to polish them just takes a second. Just take a clean rag or uh, old t-shirt, paper towel, and just going to clean off and get all the all the flits off and also it's going to take with it the corrosion. It should leave it very shiny and that's good. That's what you want. Very shiny would mean no corrosion and no sticking. Looks like brand new. Here's a comparison. These have been polished with the flits metal polish and these have not yet. So they're not very shiny and these are very shiny. So that's that's the difference. This has corrosion, that has no corrosion. We got the flits on these pins and now I'm just going to polish them. That's just going up and down a few times to remove the flits but also it takes off that oxidation and that's all it takes. Nice and shiny. So all the posts have the oil on it. We're just going to make sure it's spread around evenly. And then we'll be able to put the uh, paper spacers and the felt back on. And then we can uh, put the key on tomorrow after uh, the felt is permeated and dried from the lubricant. It's also spreading the um, felt a little bit wider so that the um, key can move more readily. You don't want it to be very wide because then it would be kind of sloppy, but moving it a little bit out is good. So this is just trying to get the lubricant to be on all sides of each one of the pins. So unless you purchase quite a bit of the plastic stays that help expand the felt, um, you may have to do this keyboard in several uh, sessions. Maybe you can do a quadrant at a time, so there's four basic quadrants. And uh, you could just buy enough of the stays to do the whole keyboard, but they're kind of pricey. So if you have um, just one set, if you're willing to spread it out over a few days, you could do that. The only reason you have to wait a few days is they recommend that once you get the felt uh, wet with the lubricant that you let that dry overnight. So we're doing this about 14-15 keys at a time because it's all the stays that I purchased. 
as you can see um, before you work on it there's a lot of stuff that's built up over the years it's kind of gumming up the works you got the corrosion you got a lot of dirt and felt and we clean all this up with a vacuum and then we're going to clean off that corrosion you can see on all the pins getting really shiny and then we'll put the lubricant on clean up these keys a little bit better and then we'll go to the next 15. in after we lubricated everything and cleaned off these posts put that sharp back in if you ever notice these I don't think you'll get them confused but they actually have little numbers many many pianos do have many little numbers put in there to help you know if you're in the right order Sitting in there nice and flat, looks good. There we go. That one done. Go over to this side. Put that on. So during the uh, coronavirus outbreak there in California they do shelter in place so you can't really go out and do much. So that'd be fun to just figure out how this baby grand works, get it cleaned up, try to get work try to get it sounding nice, get the action smooth and nice. Looks a lot better in there. So now we're going to put on cover, the cheek blocks fit right in there. Lift this up a little bit. And they actually have a pin that has to fit in. Get it all the way in. There we go. And then there's a couple of screws that go in at a diagonal. So we got one of the cheek block screws done. This one's just going to finish it up real quick. So next is the key slip. And some pianos kind of just slides in. This one has a pin to guide it. But this one also has screws that you put in to hold it. That's a lot cleaner in there. Alright, so we're going to use the indexing pin to get it where we want it. And we'll use these screws from underneath. Right here. Just tightening up the last of those key slip screws. Right there. And we got it.